Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous classes, we have seen what economic development is, what economic growth is, and then we have seen the distinction between the two and then moved towards the measurement of economic development. So we have seen in the previous class GNP as a measure of economic development and GNP per capita as a measure of economic development. In today's class, I'll be talking about welfare as a measure of economic development. So let's get started. So welfare or uh, the use of welfare in economic development or to measure economic development is seen in the sense of increased consumption of goods and services of individuals. So let us look at it in a, uh, in, in a, in a proper sense. Yeah. So economic development is regarded as a process whereby there is an increase in the consumption of goods and services of individuals. So this is how economic development is measured with the help of welfare. Yeah. So when we can say there is economic development happening uh, when there is an increase in the consumption of goods and services of individuals. So I hope the idea of economic develop uh, economic uh, development with the help of welfare is pretty much clear. Let us see now according to Okun and Richardson how economic development is measured. So economic development or what de the economic development particularly is. So according to Okun and Richardson economic development is a sustained secular improvement in material well-being which may consider to be reflected in an increase in the flow of goods and services. So they are using welfare where, where I talked about increase in the consumption of goods and services. They are using welfare as a measure to define economic development. So I hope the idea given by Okun and Richardson of economic development is pretty much clear. But again, as we have seen in GNP and GNP per capita, there are different limitations to measuring economic development with respect to GNP as well as GNP per capita. So now let us look at the different <coughs> limitations to welfare as a measure of economic development. So the first limitation is what should be the weights attached to the consumption of individuals is a problem because consumption depends upon the taste and preferences and therefore it is difficult to prepare welfare index of individuals because I don't know what weight weights to be assigned to for example say consumption of say food or consumption of non-food items or consumption of intoxicants. So I don't know what should be the weights attached to all of them for calculating a welfare index of individuals and therefore there is a big problem of using welfare as a measure of economic development. So I hope that idea is pretty much clear. Now let us move to the second limitation. It is not essential that with increased national income, economic welfare has gone up. Economic development is only possible if increased national income is reflected in equitable distribution of the same. So if at all there is an increase in national income, it should be distributed equally amongst all the individuals of the society. If at all it is going to certain segment of the society, for example, say to the rich, then the gap between the rich and the poor is going on increasing. Yeah, I've shared a report of uh, Oxfam on inequality in India. So please read that. If at all you are interested in looking at the inequality in developed world, please start reading Jeffrey Sachs's work. He is into that. Yeah. So I hope this point is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the <coughs> next point of limitation, which is welfare view fails to account the methods of production. Like how do I produce a commodity? What kind of commodity I produce? Yeah. It fails to account this. The increase in income is okay. There is an increase in income if at all the production is going on increasing. But what if it is at the cost of poor working conditions? So this is again not reflected in welfare as a measure of economic development. So that is why this lags or this fails to give us a, a clear picture of economic development. And the last is difficulties in valuation of output because what effectively happens is we are looking at welfare as an increase in the real national output. We are looking at welfare as an increase in real national output, but valuation of output is on the basis of market prices. So that is why we fail to account or it is really difficult to value the output. So that is why welfare as a measure of economic development lacks the, the, the kind of uh, picture it should be uh, providing us. So I hope the points are pretty much clear. Thank you so much.